So I have now reached Inwalker, so I can finally do one of my favorite gill farms of the week. I get to do the levy quest here in Old Charlian. It's, I talked to Greg, the trade levies on my culinary, and I pick up the Mountain Steeped, which is side two Venus. And you turn, you pick that up, and you can turn it into a heel gen. Now where I'm standing right now is the perfect spot right here in this corner because it allows me to pick up the quest from Greg and also be able to turn it in to Hildren without moving. And you can average about 10,000 per turn in. Those two were a little under, but there's some that go up to 5,500. And you get, when you turn in high quality, you get double gill and double XP. So when I reached in Walker, I was at level 85 on my culinary. So I just looked up what the levy quests were for 84, and one of them was for Glory Be Soup. So I went over to Universalis.app and looked up Glory Be Soup, and I was lucky to find a quantity of 62 for the price of 80 on Zolera. So I just jumped over there really quickly. They were still there. So that was more than enough to get me up to level one, um, 90. And I can just uh, do the side two Venu from now on after just doing this. But if you go, don't get lucky like this, just they're the same turn in price as the side two Venu. So just look for whatever item is like this one is going to be 7,500 for um, three of them. So, and it turned in is roughly 10,000. So you're making a little bit of profit, but the goal is to try to make it to level 88 without losing gill. So like this one is 2,500 per, so that's roughly 7,500. I know it's a little bit more because of the tax and the average um, reward is 10,000. So you're making about 2,000, 2,500 for each turn in. So that's good where this 3,000 one is basically breaking even. So while you're turning these in and you're filling out the log for your levy quest of the 20 levy quests, when you hit 19, it'll give you the warning that you're about to hit making like a tree. And since I'm at max level, it's not showing me any XP, but you'll get an XP bonus and you get 2,000 gil for turning that one in. What you can do is let's say it's your 20th turn in, pick up the quest on your culinary and then you switch over to your weaver let's say, any of your crafters that need XP and then you turn in the quest. My culinary will still get that XP right here but the log quest experience will go to whatever crafter I'm on at the time. So my Weaver would get a bonus XP right now for doing nothing. And it's about the same amount as like a daily Grand Seal turn in. So it's like saving 50,000 gil if you're using Grand Seals and you're going to the market board. So I find it as a weekly efficiency to level up a crafter job that you don't really care about, but you Gill sellers, like the craftsman makes all the furnishings and the weaver makes all the all the glamour items. So yeah, I like to get those two up as quickly as possible. And then I would get like my alchemist up. That way I can make potions for uh, people to raid with. This is an easy way to make um, 500,000 gill a week because you get 42 turnouts and that's roughly 500,000. It's a little under, but it's close enough. And you basically do nothing. And there's two ways of getting your site to venues. You can either make it yourself, and all these items are available through botanist. Even the palm sugar, the items that make the palm sugar are be you can get with your botanist. So if your botanist is high enough level, he can they can collect all these mats, and then you can craft it by going to. Um, team craft and getting your rotation. Okay, so in order to get the rotation to do Saitu Venu high quality, you want to come over here to 
ff14teamcraft.com. Link is in the description. And you want to click on crafting rotations. Click on new rotation. Put in side two. Click OK. And now it's going to ask you for your craftsmanship control, CP, and level. I'm on my main because my gear on my um, alt is like level 60, so it's not going to be able to make Site 2 Venu at this time. So I'm just using my main as an example. It's, per, it's fully paramel, but you don't need paramel to uh, make Site 2 Venu because it's lower level. I'm just using this as an example. So my craftsmanship is 4021, control is 3987, and my CP is 601. So I'll put those numbers in. Now you might want to, might need to use side two venu as your food for consumable. So what you would do is you put in side two, you click on it. So it's saying apply consumable, and then you want to apply stats. And so it's telling me that I can make it. I have 100% efficiency. So now what I want to do is I want to come over here to rotation finder, click on it. And I'm looking for 100% success rate at high quality, reliability is 100%, and average high quality is 100%. So since the top one has all those three things, I'll click on that box. And now it's giving me a rotation. So to be able to convert that rotation into a macro, I click on the XIV button, 14. And then I just copy paste all this information. I come over to the game. I open up my macros and I just put it in the place of a new macro, name it side two. And then all it is is I just press one button and it starts making the item. And then it gives me a notification at the end of it when it's done being made. So you can just sit down, relax, watch YouTube and make as many side two as you want. Or the way that I prefer to do it is to buy them off the market board. Okay, so the way that I prefer to get my side two Venu is that while I'm out um, buying items to flip with saddlebags, I'll put side two Venu as my favorite item. And when I'm on a server, I'll look for anything that's roughly around 1200. So 1249 is close enough to buy and flip. That way uh, it costs me about 3,800 for this, for three, and I'll make average about 10,000. So, I mean, I'm making less than if I farm my own, but it's, as my rule is, it's like, let other people do all the work for you and you just uh, make money off of them. So I'll buy that. And I like to keep a stack of 999. Since that was um, over 1,200, I just want to get enough for now. So yeah, this is one of the, my favorite ways of making gill each week is just doing the levy quests. Um, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions or any comments, feel free to put it. I'll answer as many questions as people have. And I'll see you later. All right, thanks. Bye.